Welcome to iHub Global. We are excited that you have joined our community where we are dedicated to building the people's network with Helium. We are here to help you own your piece of the network. Here are some important steps to get started. Step 1. Log into our web software Helium Track with your iHub account you recently created. Step 2. Follow our step-by-step -step getting started video training. Our getting started video training will show you how to reserve your hotspot with iHub Global and teach you how to start building your network and increasing your reward potential. Your affiliate link at Bello. You can use your affiliate link to share with friends and family and refer others to iHub Global. View sponsor and account info. We encourage every member to log in and view their account slash sponsor information to make sure everything looks correct. Go to my account and click on affiliate info tab. Attend a live training webinar slash stay informed. Register for one of our weekly live training webinars where we help iHub members get started and learn more about growing their network. Need help? Visit our support center for video training, frequently asked questions, and live webinars. Getting started with iHub Global. First, training videos getting started with iHub Global. Second, introduction to iHub Global. Third, getting started with iHub Global. Fourth, reserving your hotspot. Fifth, planning your hotspot network. Sixth, sending virtual mining assessments part one. Seventh, sending virtual mining assessments part two. Eight, track and manage virtual mining assessments. Nineth, how to increase your hosting rewards. We'll also show you simple earning strategies to grow. By using our proprietary app called Helium Track, you can track your hotspots and run virtual simulations to place free hotspots in the best locations to further expand your network of affiliates and earnings. Who knew owning this network could be so easy? So if you're ready, let's grow together with iHub Global. Join and request a hotspot for your home or office today for free. Welcome, welcome to iHub Global and congratulations because if you're watching this video right now, that means that you have successfully joined iHub Global and that you've also successfully logged into our proprietary software called Helium Track. The goal here at iHub for all of our members is to help Helium grow the world's largest wireless network, the people's network. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the exact steps that you need to take in order to find success with iHub Global. Things like reserving your hotspot, planning out your network and referring other people so that you can earn from them, as well as leveraging iHub's dynamic affiliate hosting model and leveling up using the tools that we provide to you. So come on, follow me, I'll show you the steps and let's get started. All right guys, in this step, we're gonna go over how to reserve your free hotspot deployment from iHub Global. And if this is your first time logging into Helium Track, you're gonna see quite a bit of information going on here. But if you're a new user, you really just wanna focus on getting started here, this box. And we're gonna focus down here on reserve your free hotspot on this step. Now, before we jump into this process, I just wanna state that every iHub account currently can only reserve one hotspot. Okay, guys, so with that said, let's click on this step right here, and we're gonna look at that process. One other thing I wanna say before we get started is that not every location is gonna be eligible to receive a hotspot. And what I mean by that is that when we submit our addresses here, we're gonna run that through our intelligence process. And our intelligence process is either gonna tell us if it's an eligible or valid placement, or if there's already another live hotspot there, or maybe there's another reserved hotspot close by. And so this way, it's not gonna pass the validation. Either way, you will be notified. If it doesn't pass the validation, you're gonna be able to go ahead and try another address, okay? So step one has already been filled out for us with our existing information. And step two, we're gonna to wanna to enter our shipping address. This is where we wanna reserve the miner to be shipped to. And what you wanna do is you're gonna start typing in the address that you want for shipping. And you can type in a partial address and click on search. This is gonna bring up a list of probable addresses and you wanna make sure that you select the exact address from the list. In this case, this is the address that I do wanna reserve. If it doesn't come up in the list the first time, what you wanna do is type in more of the address over here, click on search again until you find the exact address. Now, if there's a unit, suite number, or apartment number, 
you do want to enter that as well. It's very important that we're able to get the accurate information for shipping and installation. The install address on step three is where the miner is actually going to get plugged in, where you plan on installing it, right? So what happens is when you click on this field, we automatically copy over the existing shipping address because very commonly the shipping address and the install address are the same. If they're not the same, you want to go ahead and remove this and do the same process that you did for the shipping address where you type in a partial address, you click on the search, and then you go ahead and select it from the list. Again, we this case, the uh, install address is the same, and I'm going to type in that suite number, and I'm going to go ahead and check off the terms of service. Now, when I submit this form, again, it's going to submit uh, the address through our validation process, and it's going to let us know whether or not that location is eligible to reserve a hotspot deployment from iHub. And if it's not, you're going to get a message clearly saying that, and you're going to be able to try the, a different address. If it does pass a validation, we're going to get a success message, and we're going to see that step uh, be completed. So let's go ahead and click on Reserve Hotspot. We see it running through our validation process. And over here, we can see the reservation has been saved. We see a green check mark as well over here. And if you actually go ahead and reload the page or refresh the page, you're going to see the address that you have reserved, as well as the ability to change or remove the uh, existing reservation address. So if you click on this and you want to cancel it, for example, or you want to change it to another address, this is how you would do that. And make sure you read the directions as well. All right, guys, that's how you reserve your free hotspot deployment from iHub Global. Okay, so hopefully you've been able to reserve your hotspot deployment from iHub Global. And we're going to move on to the next step in getting started, which is plan your hotspot network. Now, let's talk a little bit about what this actually means. And this is really where a lot of the earning potential comes from. Planning your hotspot network is the, your ability to invite other people that you know, for example, your friends, your family, your coworkers, anyone you know that might be interested in joining iHub Global and reserving their hotspot. And when they sign up, they're going to be linked to your account, which means that you're going to have the ability to earn a percentage off of their miners if and when they receive them. Okay, so if you actually click on this step, you're going to be greeted with a little bit of an overview of what this is. You're going to be greeted with a video on how, how to do this process, as well as a list of commonly asked questions by iHub Global members when planning your hotspot. Now, an easy strategy that I like to recommend is to first make a list of everyone that you know that you might want to invite to iHub Global. Uh, you can do this on a piece of paper, you can do it in an Excel spreadsheet, or you can do it off the top of your head. So to get started in planning your first hotspot in order to invite someone to iHub Global, you're going to click on the Plan Hotspot button. This is going to open a new window where you're going to want to enter the address of the person that you have in mind. And again, you can go down your list and plan your hotspots this way. So we're going to start typing the address of someone that I have in mind. Okay. And we're going to click on search or the enter button. So you can enter a partial address, click on search, and it's going to give you a list of probable addresses, exactly like the process that we did when reserving the hotspot. And you want to make sure that you select the right address from the list. And in this case, this is the address that I want to go ahead and plan for my friend Jerry. And so if there's an apartment number, you want to enter that here. And we're going to enter a custom title. So I can say Jerry's hotspot. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and fill in Jerry's information. Now, this uh, information is optional. I do recommend filling everything in because when you go ahead and invite Jerry using the next process, which is virtual mining assessments, this information will be required. If you fill it in now, you won't have to do it later. So I do recommend to do it. And for the sake of demonstration purposes, I'm simply just going to use a test email here. So, but you want to make sure you use exact information and accurate information of the person that you are planning this hotspot for. Okay. Now, I'm going to agree to the terms of service and I'm going to click on plan hotspot in just a second. And what that's going to do is it's going to go through the same validation process that we saw when reserving our hotspot. And it's going to check to see if that placement is eligible to receive a hotspot 
or if it's already too dense with other hotspots or reserved hotspots. So we're going to click on plan and it's going to run this process through the validation and we're either going to see one of two messages. One of them is going to say that the location could use some coverage and it's eligible, right? And the other message is going to say that unfortunately it's already too dense. Now, if it is eligible to send a mining assessment, which is basically, we're going to go over this process in more detail in the next video, is a simple report that you can send to this person that you want to invite to IHUB Global. And it's going to show them the earning potential and the fact that their location is already eligible to reserve a free hotspot deployment. So that's a great tool to bring someone into IHUB. Now, if you got a message saying that it's not eligible, that's okay because you can still invite the person using your affiliate link. They can still sign up to iHub Global and they can still try another address to reserve their hotspot deployment. And also, just like we're doing now, a lot of the earning potential is in inviting other people and earning from their hotspots. And they can do that exact same process as well. So just because it doesn't pass our validation does not mean that the person cannot jo join iHub. Try a different address if possible. Maybe they own other properties or they have an office and they want to try those addresses as well as plan their hotspot network just like we're doing now. Now, in this case, we're just going to go over planning the hotspots because in the next video, we're going to go over sending mining assessments and how to invite people once you know that they have a valid placement. So in this case, I'm not going to send up a mining assessment. I'm going to click on no, just plan the hotspot and I'm going to make sure to save it. OK, and so what that's going to do now is it's going to put a pink dot on the map and we can see there is my um, uh, my planned hotspot. Now I'm going to do this process maybe a couple more times. Okay. We'll try some other addresses and then I'm going to show you how to, uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to now send all these people mining assessments. Okay. But for now in this video, we're just going to plan a few hotspots. We're going to save them and I'm going to show you where you can see your planned hotspots as well. So you can always reference them and invite people later. So right now we're just going through our list and getting everyone into our system. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to search on another address. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure we get some more. There we go. I want to do that address. And we're gonna, again, we're going to type in some information. And this is going to be my friend Larry. Okay. And again, this information, this information is optional. Okay, for the for the purpose of planning, but if you're going to invite them to iHub, you will need their information. Okay, so I'm not going to fill it out for this one. I'm going to click on plan hotspot and let's see what we get. Okay, this location is also good. So let's just go ahead. We're going to plan the hotspot. We're going to click on save. All right, and we're going to get another pink dot on the map. Let's do one more just so we can see the process a little bit more. Let's do um, another address here. Okay. And let's plan this for Joe's house. All right. And again, I'm not going to fill in the rest of the information. I'm going to plan the hotspot. I'm going to let that run. And look at that. We have three good placements in a row. Very lucky. So I'm going to click on no, just in this case. I'm not sending the mining assessment right now. And I'm going to click on save. All right. So now that we've went ahead and planned three hotspots, I want to show you where you can go back and view those planned hotspots and then you can send mining assessments uh, later. Now, in the next video, like I said, we are going to go over sending mining assessments right away as well as how to send them later. But if you go to your hub plan, you can go to planned hotspots and you'll see here are the three locations that I have went ahead and planned and you'll see that now I can go ahead and send them mining assessment reports. We're going to go over this process in the next video. You can also manage and edit existing plan hotspots. So if you want to edit a hotspot, you can go ahead and change the information here or populate more or new information as well as the ability to remove that uh, that plan hotspot for that person. And again, you can send an assessment report, which we're going to go over in the next video for virtual mining assessments. All right, guys, that's how you plan hotspots and that's how you grow your network and start bringing people in to sign up to iHub Global. OK, guys, so in this video, we're going to move on to step number three of getting started. And hopefully you've been able to reserve your hotspot deployment from iHub. 
Hopefully you've been able to plan some hotspots for people that you know to build out your hotspot network. And the next step is we're going to go over virtual mining assessments and what it, what exactly is it. And so a virtual mining assessment is a really nice and simple report that you are able to send to that person that you planned a hotspot for. And you can send it to them via SMS or text message as well as email. And this report is going to include not only the fact that they already have an eligible placement or location to reserve a hotspot from iHub, but it's also going to show them some of the earning potential by getting nearby hotspot earnings and showing them what they could possibly earn if they were to reserve and install a hotspot from iHub Global. And so when clicking on this step, we're also going to have an instructional video as well as more information and strategy. So if you need some more help, look within this window and it's going to give you some help there as well. Let's take a look at the two different ways that we can send a mining assessment report. Now, the first way would be planning a hotspot from scratch like we did on the previous step. And if it's a valid placement, you're going to be eligible to send that virtual mining assessment report right away. So let's try step number one. OK, and we're going to have to find another good location. Let's go ahead and punch in an address. OK and let's see so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to enter a custom title now if you're not familiar with this step please go back and watch the previous video of how to plan a hotspot we go over what information you need to fill out and detailed steps okay so i'm going to go ahead um, i'm going to just uh let's say for, uh, for joe's house and i'm going to put in joe and This is just for instructional purposes, so I can show you the email that he would receive or the SMS text message. OK, so again, you're going to want to enter the person, uh, ex the person's exact information of who you are going to be sending this virtual mining assessment to. And the first step to send a mining assessment is to get the hotspot planned. And if it's an eligible placement, we're going to be able to move on to send the mining assessment. OK, so let's go ahead and plan that hotspot and see if it's a valid placement. All right, so this one was not valid. We're going to click OK. We're going to try another location. OK. I'm going to type in an address. OK. And there we go. We have our address. Let's try this for Sarah. OK. And again, I'm just using this email for the sake of demonstration so that we can see that. All right, and we're going to go ahead and plan that hotspot. And let's see. OK, great. So this location and Sarah's location is eligible to send a virtual mining assessment. That's great news. And so the first uh, way that you can send a mining assessment is plan the hotspot like we just did, and you're going to click on save and send assessment. All right. And what that's going to do is going to bring up a window that looks like this. It's going to populate all of the information that we already had. OK, and all I have to do is choose how I want to send the virtual mining assessment. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to check it off for email as well as SMS. And Sarah is going to go ahead and get receive that information. She's going to get her report and she's going to be able to not only see the earning potential and know that she's able to reserve a hotspot with iHub Global, but she's going to be able to sign up right there under your affiliate account. She's going to be able to reserve her hotspot right on the third step there. And then she's going to be flowed right into Helium Track to start learning and doing this process just like you're doing now. So let's go ahead and send off that report. OK, so I went ahead and I've received that email. OK, and again, I use my email just for the sake of demonstration. But this is what Sarah would receive. She would get an email and a text message from iHub Global saying, congratulations, John Palmer has run a virtual crypto mining assessment on your address. And it shows her address. And it also shows that she has uh, 24 hours to reserve that real estate and that it's also a free hardware drop. Right. So it also explains 
that, uh, you know, what does this mean? What is the process of that, you know, that she can earn cryptocurrency with a helium hotspot miner? And it also goes over some of the basic steps that she needs to do. Now, all she needs to do is click on reserve the hotspot. Okay, and it's going to open up that virtual mining assessment report. And we're going to go over a couple things to understand this report and, and a bit of this process. So first of all, it's going to tell her that nearby hotspots monthly earnings are earning between 11.8 HNT, which is the helium crypto token, and between uh, 42.6 HNT, right? And then it's going to go ahead and it's going to show her what is that value in dollars. So Sarah literally has the potential. If she were to go ahead and follow this process, reserve her hotspot, when she receives it, she would have the earning potential of between 272 US dollars and 980 US dollars. That's, that's incredible. As well as it's going to show the current price. So the way that we figure out the US dollar earning potential is that we take the value of the HNT, we multiply it by the current actual real-time price of, of helium of HNT and we go ahead and give her that uh, value there now I want to go over what does this mean of this 24-hour period when you send this mining assessment and Sarah goes ahead and opens it up that basically locks that area that location okay her address which we have right here it locks that location and a, and a surrounding area and it prevents other people from trying to reserve a hotspot in that area for 24 hours. So this is Sarah's window to make sure that she locks in that location and gets started with iHub Global and actually reserves her hotspot, okay? So this is really, really important. If this timer runs out, that does not mean that she cannot sign up to iHub anymore. And it doesn't mean that the report is no longer accessible or, or valid. But what it does mean is that other iHub members can uh, plan and reserve hotspots around that area, right? And they can send mining assessments to someone else. So what we look at is about a 500 meter radius approximately around the location that you are planning for Sarah. So for Sarah to get started, all she needs to do is click on claim this location, okay? She is going to set up her account. And in this case, I will uh, go ahead and just complete this process so that you guys can see it and understand it. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and look, all of Sarah's information is already going to be filled out because you provided it. And guess what? If you weren't accurate or if you did a misspelling or something, you, she can correct it here. So she has the ability to make sure that everything is correct before she signs up uh, to iHub Global. And this is going to create her iHub Global account and it's going to sign it to you. So it's going to know that you have referred Sarah into iHub Global and you will get credit for that. So Sarah's going to go ahead. She's going to finalize her account. Okay. And she's going to agree to the affiliate terms and register. And what this is going to do, it's going to go ahead and create her account. And look, this already is, is all populated for us. This is now her ability to go ahead and finalize and reserve her hotspot deployment from iHub Global right away. OK, we went over this in step one, and that is if you uh, signed up to IOP Global via an affiliate link and not a virtual mining assessment, you could reserve your hotspot once you log into Helium Track. In this case, if you're invited via a virtual mining assessment, you get to do this process right away. And that's why this tool is so powerful and is a really good marketing tool to invite someone into iHub Global because it makes this process so easy and streamlined for people, right? So I don't have to do anything. If I'm Sarah, I, I look over all the information. I see it's good. I can agree to the terms of service. And all I need to do is reserve my hotspot. And it's as simple as that, guys. Now it tells her that she successfully signed up and reserved her hotspot. And it's going to tell her that the next step is to go ahead to Helium Track and to start planning your hotspot network. And she can go ahead now, log into Helium Track and start doing that exact same process. One thing I do want to say that is very, very important, guys, is that a free Helium Track account currently can only send 10 virtual mining assessments okay we do have a pro account feature where you can uh, i'm sorry a pro account plan where you can send unlimited virtual mining assessments it's probably the best marketing tool you can use i highly highly recommend it a lot of our members have found tremendous success by sending out a ton of virtual mining assessments if you're interested in getting helium track pro we do have a learning uh, uh training center 
on uh, upgrading to Pro and all of the other benefits that we have there. So if you check out the support center and you look at the training videos, go to the Helium Track Pro section and you're going to be able to learn more about everything that Helium Track Pro has to offer you. In this video, we're going to go over the second way that you can send virtual mining assessments. So just to recap a little bit, on step two, we plan some hotspots, which we can see as these pink dots here on the map. On step number three, we planned a hotspot and sent a virtual mining assessment right away, right? As soon as we planned a hotspot and it ran the intelligence, it told us it was eligible and we sent off a mining assessment. Well, in this video and the second way you can send a virtual mining assessment is by going back to those planned hotspots that we planned in step number two. And so in order to do that, we're going to go to hub plan and we're going to go back to planned hotspots where we can see all of our existing planned hotspots in the system. And we'll, we'll see here that there's a column for send an assessment report, right? And we also see that completed assessment that we sent out to Sarah, which I showed you in the last training that was signed. She signed up, she completed that process, and it will show that as completed. Now for these, all you need to do is click on send report, and uh, if you hadn't filled out all the information already, make sure it's there. In this case, it's already filled out. And I'm going to choose how I want to send out that mining assessment report. And I'm going to send it via email, via SMS, and I'm going to send that off to Larry. And there we go. So now I literally just went ahead. I have a success message. I went ahead and sent that mining assessment report. Larry's going to go ahead and get that email and text message to sign up the same process that we saw in the previous training. In this quick training, we're going to go over how to go back and view all of the virtual mining assessments that you've sent. And the reason you might want to do that is to track your progress or make some decisions from there and kind of see what's going on, right? So in order to see your past virtual mining assessments, you want to go to Hub Plan. You're going to go to Mining Assessments. And in this section, you're going to see a quick overview of all of the mining assessments you've sent out and their statuses. And again, just to reiterate, a Helium Track free account is only eligible to send 10 virtual mining assessments. If you upgrade to Helium Track Pro, you get unlimited virtual mining assessments. Okay, so here we'll see a list of the mining assessments that we've sent out and all the information associated with it. Okay, and what's really important is to kind of know what is a user done on the other side, right? You sent them this report, have they viewed it? Um, you know, what is, a, what is the status? And so here we could see when it was sent, okay, the time. We know whether they viewed it or not. So in this case, uh, Sarah did complete her virtual mining assessment. So we know the status and we know all of the timestamps on when she did those actions, okay? Now, Larry uh, uh, has not viewed it yet. We can see it's not available, so he hasn't viewed the report. And we know that also by looking at the status. Now, the moment that Larry opens that email and clicks the button in that email to view his report, this will get populated with the time he views it. And it will also set that 24-hour countdown, which currently will lock that area from other people uh, from sending virtual mining assessments in that vicinity, as well as reserving a hotspot. So that's Larry's uh, window that he knows he's guaranteed to be able to complete that process. If he doesn't complete it within those 24 hours, that area will open back up to other IHUB members to reserve a hotspot or send virtual mining assessments to other people and invite them into IHUB Global. Here we'll see the timestamp of when they signed up as well as even the timestamp when they actually reserve the hotspot. Now, normally these timeframes are all very close because it's just one seamless process. And so in the case that Larry has not viewed his virtual mining assessment report, I'm sorry, in, in the case that it has expired, there will be an option to resend that virtual mining assessment, okay? So if it's expired, you will be able to kind of send a, another report to Larry, okay? Just kind of as a reminder, and you're limited to doing that three times. So one of the biggest pieces of advice that we give people is to give, uh, give a heads up to the person you're sending a virtual mining assessment to, let them know that you're sending them this report and that they have 24 hours to go ahead and complete that process. And so that's really important as well. 
One other place you can kind of view uh, the progress of your virtual mining assessment reports is if you're sending them from your planned hotspots, right? So if you're planning hotspots and then you're sending your virtual mining assessment report, you can go down all of your planned hotspots and know which one of them you have sent the virtual mining assessment report. So in this case, it's completed. And in this case, it's not viewed yet. So and in this case, we haven't even sent the report. So these are the two areas that you will use to manage all of the hotspots that you plan, as well as the virtual mining assessments that you sent out in order to invite that person into I have global to sign up under you as a sponsor and uh, to reserve their free hotspot deployment. Okay, team, we're going to welcome you to the IHUB Dynamic Hosting Affiliate Program. We're going to teach you how to level up and where you can own a piece of the people's network powered by Helium Track, our own proprietary software within IHUB. Okay, it all starts, guys, um, with free, a free deployment of hotspots. We are a company that sells software to deploy and to manage hotspots, and we deploy hotspots for free, okay? And it's very, very simple to get started. It really just requires three things um, in the in the plan. Okay, number one is you can sign up for free request a hotspot by creating an iHub account. Okay, one iHub account. You need a person or entity to create that account, and you need a hosting real estate address. Okay, those are the three things you need to get to get started. Okay, from there you're going to receive an iHub hotspot after you qualify. We only did we only send hotspots to the best addresses. We give you all the tools to make your address the best. You earn 15% hosting commission on every, every HNT that that miner generates, that hotspot generates for the first 90 days, okay? There will be a shipping and handling uh, at deployment that, you, that the host will pay, okay? Now, look at that 25%. How do we go up to 25% after 90 days? So 25% of all the HNT generated from that miner or hotspot uh, can go to that host. Okay. How does that happen? Okay. We're going to talk about that in just a minute, but first we're going to touch on the referral plan because in this, in the affiliate program, you can also refer others. Okay. Friends, family, neighbors, businesses, and they can get their own uh, free deployment on a hotspot and you get a 10% referral commission for the first 90 days. So whatever that eight, whatever that minor generates, you get 10% and you can, you can refer as many people as you want. Okay. The host would get 15%, just like we, we showed you just a minute ago, in the first 90 days, um, with the opportunity for that host to go from 15 to 25%, okay, after 90 days. Okay, we're going to get to that again and what you need to do to do that. Okay, but here's the cool part that the refer, if you refer a person as many as you want, you can go from 10 to 20% after 90 days. And that's huge. So you can get 20% on everybody that you refer. Um, and you go as wide as you want in the affiliate program. So how does that happen? Okay, what do we need to do to get that pay increase between the host and the refer? Okay, it all comes with helium track mining assessments. Many of you are probably here. Most of you are right here because you had an assessment. So the power of five free claimed assessments. So give away five assessments and uh, you're off to the races. So you simply use the software. They actually have 10 credits in the free version. So you don't even need to buy anything and you can send assessments out to your friends and family uh, and get that 10% increase with just five claimed free deployment assessments. Okay, five claimed free deployment assessments. That means that five people said, yes, I wanna claim this hotspot, I wanna claim this real estate. And then you go from, the host goes from, uh, gets a 10%, 15% to 25%. That's a 10% increase in pay after 90 days. In turn, because we're creating relationships here that refer, help them, help that host get that done to go to 25%. So they're going to be able to go from 10% to 20% with a 10% increase after 90 days. So that's the dynamics in the compensation plan, the power of five claim free assessment. So very, very powerful guys. Um, anybody can do this and anybody can go to work and get this done. And then after that, you're going to build teams, right? You've already started this. So you can start with your pro team, your bronze team, your silver team, and then your gold team. Okay. And that's simply by referring other people, just by sharing mining assessments and referring other people, you start to build those teams automatically within the compensation plan. So let's take that first team, first team. This is the first five personal active affiliates. That's five people that request a free deployment of a hotspot and get one. Those qualify you and they're qualifying your pro team. And we already know you make up to 20%. If you work with those hosts, get those hosts to do their five mining assessments, claim mining assessments, you go to 20% and they go from 15% as the host to 25%. Okay. Plus there's a pro team code match. There's another bonus 
in the protein that we're going to address at the very end of this presentation. But there's two main ways that you get paid on your first five, your protein, and that's through a up to a 20% referral commission and a pro team match, okay? Once you've filled that team, that means you've got five, you go on to your sixth person, you begin to build your bronze team. Okay. And that's the next 10 personally active affiliates. So again, somebody requests a free minor, they have a great address, they work on their address, they get free deployment. And the next 10 slots, you earn up to 20% again on a referral commission. And plus you get a 5% bronze code. Remember that code match in the pro team? It's going to start to make sense here towards the end. But you actually get a 5% code match as well on the next 10. And it starts with number six. I'm showing you the whole team here, but it starts with number six is your bronze team, okay? After you've built out your bronze team, you're gonna move on to a silver team, okay? Again, up to 20% referral commission, depending on how you work with your personals, right? You work with those personal, personal hosts, they're just a host right now, they haven't referred to anybody, and you work with them and they can get up to 15% to 25% with five claimed mining assessments, and you go up, to, you actually go up to 20%. But on top of the, the 10, 20%, up to 20%, you can earn an additional 10% silver code on all 10 of your slots in your silver team. Again, this starts with the first one. So it starts with number 16, okay? But it goes um, through the next 10 slots, okay? So you've got 25 people in your team now and you're moving on to gold. So your 26th referral it would go, it starts your gold team with unlimited gold referrals. So there's not 10 slots, there's 100 slots, 200 slots, whatever you want on the gold team. And you make up to 20% referral commission, again, working one-on-one -on -one with your personally sponsored. And you get a 15% gold code on top of that on all your personally sponsored, okay? So there's a team of 10 and it goes on to infinity. You can have as many as you want here, okay? Starts with your 26. There's always a race to gold, okay? So let's look at the team structure, kind of an overview slide of what it looks like now, okay? Here's you and here's your pro team. Those are your first five. Now I'm gonna go through this 10 to 20% referral commission. We've covered that. You start at 10 for the first 90 days. You can go up to 20 if you help these people, these per personally referred, go and do get five claimed assessments in the Helium Track software, okay? Five claimed assessments will give them a pay raise and give you a pay raise. And you get an up to 25% code match, which we're going to talk about in a few minutes, and up to 20% on your personals, just like we just talked about, okay? Bronze team. Okay, and your bronze team, you get 10 to 20% referral commission, the same thing, right? Depending on what you do with your personals, and you get a 5% code. So you get up to 25% on all of these people. That's incredible. 25% of all the HNT that your bronze team generates on your personals goes to you, okay? If you work with them and get them to do their five mining assessments, okay? Okay, on your silver team, it's 10 to 20% plus a silver code. So you're up to 30% on all 10 of these boxes, these per personals that you have placed out there. And then obviously the gold team is up to 35% because 20% potential and referral commission plus 15% gold code up to 35% on all your personals. Again, starts with number 26 and goes to infinity. You could have a hundred people in your goat. 35% on per uh, your personals, that's incredible guys. Okay, so if it was this, this it would be an unbelievable compensation model for us to follow as a one level compensation plan, but it gets even better than this, okay, because there's a leverage, a leverage component here that we haven't even talked about yet. So up to 20% on all your personals, up to 25% because of that 5% bronze code starts with number six, seven, all the way through the next 10 slots, okay, but what are these folks going to do? These folks are going to go out there with their five free mining assessments that have already been claimed, right? Because you're working with them, right? And they're going to begin to bring in their people, okay? Their, their pro team. Those are blue guys for them, right? And what happens is on that, when they bring in their pro teams, those roll up to your front line. Again, I said it's a one-level comp plan. It really is a one-level comp plan. These are all just rolling up to your front line. So this gentleman brings in his five right away. Hey, they're all rolling up to you, rolling up to you. And it just continues and continues uh, forever. So it just gets wider and wider and wider. And on those, those roll-ups, you get that 5% bronze code. You don't get the referral commission because you didn't refer them. Somebody else referred them. The people below you referred them. So they're getting that referral commission, but you're getting that 5% code. It just continues to roll up. You inherit the first five forever, okay? Now, the same exact dynamic begins to happen on your silver team. You have up to 30% because you have a 20% potential referral commission, okay? But you also have a 10% uh, silver code here. So you're gonna bring in the next 10, okay? 
and they're going to do the same exact thing. They're going to roll up to you. Okay. Now this roll up is a 10%, not a 5% code. It's a 10% code. So you get 10% silver code to infinity on the first five of everybody. You don't know who these people are. They could be anywhere in the world, but they continue to roll up to your front line. Okay. Now we talked about gold, how powerful gold is. Gold is the, where the big leverage is up to 20% referral commission. And it's 35% because there's a 15% gold code on all your personals. And you can continue to go wide with these. Okay. I'm showing 10 here, but you can go as wide as you want. Okay. These roll-ups just continue just like the dynamic on the bronze and silver team. The first five forever, even these people you don't know, rolled up to you, they still have to get their five. It just continues to roll up and roll up and roll up forever. And on this code, you're at 15% forever okay so you can personally enroll at 35 percent in your gold team if you help them get their five mining assessments and when you understand the power of five in this compensation plan you're going to want to do this with every person that you have so very very powerful guys race to gold as fast as you can and every single time you deploy a free deployment it counts towards qualifying you in the compensation plan so let's touch on this pro team again okay the pro team again we already know that we get uh, 10 10 to 20 percent but here's what happens on your pro team, you have five people, okay, five people. On those five people, they're going to start to build their organization. And eventually, hopefully, they're going to get it to the bronze code, the silver code, the gold code. And they're going to get a commit. Part of their commission is going to be a code, a code, part of that code, that 5%, that 10%, that 15%. Not the referral commission, not the hosting commission, just the code. And so when you're a pro and you have, when you're a pro, you're going to get 10% of whatever those five people do. Uh, in the code. So if somebody makes 100 HNT and you're a pro, you're going to get 10%. So if Bob, Sally, uh, Joey, Karen, and, and, and Rick are in those first five right there, you're going to get matches on all those people. Okay. Now, once you get to bronze, okay, you open up your six person, your bronze, you'll get a pay increase on all five of these matching their code check. You go to 15%. Okay. Once you reach silver, you get 20% on all these five, these five. And once you reach gold, you get 25%. Again, that 26 person, okay, gives you a pay increase on your first five people. Whatever they make in their code commission, you get a match up to 25% of that. Very, very powerful. So, guys, in the end, kind of a quick summary slide. Um, this is what your team looks like. This is what happens in the, in the compensation plan. You're basically just rolling people up. You're building a one level flatline compensation plan, inheriting people in each one of these teams and they get wider and wider and wider and you just continue to inherit. Now you inherit 5%. Uh, code code on the bronze team, 10% code on the gold or silver team and 15% on the gold team. Just keeps wider and wider guys. And so very, very powerful leverage to the, the 10th degree right here, guys, if you understand it. And one thing I wanna mention as we close, Viva Kids, an organization I founded after coming off the mission field for 10 years, and uh, we're passionate about it. We have over 300 kids, 400 kids in the Dominican Republic right now. And 1% of all of our proceeds go to serve these kids. And we're gonna have few vacations with a future and, the, uh, and purpose, vacations with a purpose down at the DR in the future. But check out vivakids.org, get involved, uh, help us support those kids. Nothing we can, we can build all the wealth in the world, but unless we share it with others, it really doesn't make a difference. So, all right, God bless you guys. Hope this was helpful and uh, we'll see you soon.